Hey guys, Joe here, and today we're going to talk about planning the Queen Walk. I've seen multiple questions on this topic over and over and over within the Alliance. How to direct her, how many healers should you take, uh, how many point defenses can she take at once, including an expo and heroes, and then also when should you use a rage or uh, her royal cloak ability. Jake from One Hive does a great video on this, and I'm going to place the link for that video in the description. And also Clash with Ash also addresses the uh, Super Queen and Pathing as well. Uh, I'm going to try to go a little bit more in depth and also show you multiple replays at different Town Hall levels and different Queen levels and try to sum up some of these questions. So what do we know about the Archer Queen so far? What we do know is that the Archer Queen will shoot at any unit directly in front of her. She does not discriminate unless she is targeted by an enemy hero or enemy clan castles. Any healers more than six have the same healing effect, so anything more than that is useless and a waste of camp space. When you're doing the Queen Walk strategy, we, we do know that we want to try to get up to 25% of the base prior to starting the second phase of our attack. And then we also know that this strategy can be tied into any war strategy at all Town Hall levels. That includes the Govaho, Go Laloon, Dragon Raids, Go Wee Wee at Town Hall 11, and then also the go wipe the Queen's AI. There's two different terms that I'm going to use here when it comes to the Queen's AI. Range and Vision. The Queen's range is known to be five tiles. The Queen's vision is eight tiles. When I say vision, I mean things that she can see around her, but not necessarily what she's going to shoot. So we're going to start with a replay posted by Mark. Uh, we're not going to concern ourselves with how many healers he uses. We're just going to concern ourselves with the placement of the queen. And with this base being a really easy base to determine placement of units on the base, we can determine which path she's going to take and what she's going to attack next following each shot. So we're going to go ahead and start the replay here. Mark drops the queen in the southeast. And if you notice, she is exactly one tile away from the barracks. Each barracks is three tiles a piece. The builder's hut itself is two tiles. If you notice she's automatically started firing at the very first thing that is directly in front of her. She will take that out and she will go directly for the builder's hut next because that is exactly two spaces away from uh, her current location. So we're going to go ahead and continue to replay. She takes out the barracks because that is four tiles away and she steps forward into the cannon. We're going to pause it right there and we're going to try to determine exactly where she's going to go next. So if you actually point out the fact that this barracks was one, two, three, and then the wall would be a fourth tile ahead of her, she is shooting five tiles in at the cannon. So from there, if you notice, there are one, two, and then the army camp is exactly three spaces away. So more than likely she's going to shoot this cannon and then she's going to face and shoot the army camp itself. The next item in her vision or range would be the archer tower. So let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and hit play on this. So she takes out the cannon then she takes out the armor, army camp. Now we're going to pause it there. We have a hidden Tesla pop up in that empty compartment. But if you notice, the queen has already started to engage the archer tower. Now, with that being said, we are going to point out the fact that the army camp itself is five tiles. So one, two, three, four, five, plus these two tiles here, that is seven tiles across. So the queen's range is five tiles. Her vision is eight tiles. So if there was nothing else in this area right here, she would go more than likely towards either the Dark Bell Factory or she would go south towards the mine down here. So if we actually count these tiles here from her current location, she has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tiles away. So we're gonna go ahead and hit play on this and she's going to take out the Archer Tower and then next the Hidden Tesla. So since there are seven tiles to the north and seven tiles to the south, 
but there's only four tiles ahead of her. She's going to step forward into the elixir storage and the air defense. So then we're going to hit play on this. She's going to take out the elixir storage and then she's going to take out the air defense. Now that that's taken out, here's the reason why she's turning to the north and not the south. Remember from her current location she had, she stood right around here. So we had two spaces here and two spaces here and then three spaces here. Simple addition says that is what? Seven, seven tiles. So then we add this tile here which is eight and then this gold mine is nine tiles away that and then if you remember the queen is going to go after the closest item to her so she's not going to turn south she's actually going to go north and target this gold mine here because if you actually look at where she currently stood she had one two three four five tiles away and her vision is eight tiles so she sees this opposed to this gold mine first so we're gonna go ahead and restart that and once she's already started in this direction she's gonna continue to go in this direction because there's so many units that are directly in front of her So now that she's taken out, she's going to continue to search until she finds the next closest item, which is the Archer Tower. And then she's going to continue to take out closer items as she goes along. Now I'm going to back out of this and I'm going to go ahead and show you my pre-planned attack. Okay, so this is the base that I planned for the other day. And it is a typical resource ring base, nothing special about it at all. But I did want to use a queen walk and I wanted to use her in a flanking manner. I noticed that there are in the upper left corner I wanted to place her right here and I wanted her to take out this these elixirs and then I also wanted to bring her her into this compartment to start taking out some of the defenses here 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 and this one right here that way my golems could funnel into the base in this location and come through the center and on the outside of the base so I already predetermined where I play I'm gonna place my queen so how do I know exactly where she's gonna go well be by me knowing that I'm gonna place her here about a space away away from uh, this tile right here I know that if I place her here directly in front of her is going to be the army camp and the elixir storage. More than likely since it is exactly two tiles away, she's going to take out the elixir storage. Next she's going to, uh, in her vision, is going to be this army camp. I'm going to place two wall breakers to take out the lego wall right here. And then I'm going to let her take out this elixir drill and then if you count ahead she's gonna step up and she's gonna go one so one two three four five so in her vision she's gonna see this next elixir drill and she's gonna take that out which should place her right about here so how do I know that she's gonna come back inside this wall and not continue to go north so I believe if I count it correctly, if she stays right here and you count forward one, two, three, four, five, there's also another elixir drill that she may, may or may not take out. However, at the same time, within her eight tile vision, this archer tower sits exactly one, two, three, four, five tiles in. So if she stops right about here, takes out a third elixir drill she should go to the next closest thing which is this archer tower so that would bring her back into the wall and have her start engaging these targets right here here and here 
Also, since I'm anticipating that she is going to go inside this wall right here and she's going to take on these defenses, I also have to take into consideration that I have th one, two, three point defenses sitting here shooting all at her all at once, as well as the enemy king sitting here, which is going to probably come into her radius or his radius and she's going to get engaged by him as well. So that is at that same time, I'm also going to have a rage spell queued up to drop on her to bring up her health prior to coming into the compartment with the uh, army camp that way she can take out she will be raged and have boosted damage so she takes out the point defenses faster and uh, hopefully that king if she comes in upon her um, I'm not too worried about any splash damage splash damages in the sense of the wizard tower and the cannons aren't going to take off enough health off of her fast enough as or clearly as fast as the point defense as well so let's go ahead and roll uh, this footage and see what happens and if I was correct in my pathing so as you see I dropped my queen in that general location she takes on that first elixir storage as well as that army camp then she moves up and then she moves up again and takes out that third one. Now she comes back inside and I go ahead and drop a rage to get her health back up before she takes on that king. King comes out to her and with her being in rage she takes him out fairly quick and then she starts taking out the other point defenses in her range. Now I'm not worried about the rest of the attack. She starts focusing in on this Elixir storage, which is exactly one, two, three, four, five tiles away from her. And then from there on, if you actually look in the rest of her vision from the point that she's sitting in currently, the next item that would be in her vision should be this army barracks down to the south. However, since there's a wall blocking her motion and there's nothing up around her, and if you actually count the spaces from the barracks to her position, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So she is the next item in her vision would be that army barracks. However, she cannot get to it. So the next item that she's going to engage will be the wall. So that's how you know if she's going to get stuck on a wall. There's a lot of things going on here and a lot of planning on her motions and her movements and 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 a lot of its experience but if you know the distances that she is away from items and the items that she's going to take out you'll know that she's going to get caught on a wall and start engaging that wall instead so we're going to go ahead and roll this and now she starts to engage the wall So she breaks through the wall and the next item in her vision will be that army barracks which she takes out and then from there on it's pretty much self-explanatory where she's going to go to next. She's going to take out the air defense, then the barracks itself, and then the mortar behind it and or the gold storage. Gold storage and then the mortar. I hope I addressed how to determine her pathing clearly. I don't claim to be the expert here. I go off a lot of studying and review of attacks. On the healer situation, I can confidently say that a level 25 and above Archer Queen can survive two point defenses with four healers. Anything lower, take a fifth. If you notice in this replay the spacing between the point defenses, the Queen can take on two without a rage spell. If you are taking on three point defenses at the same time, plan to rage the healers to recover the Queen. This is a safe practice if you are about to engage an enemy hero and or clan castle. If taking on an unknown clan castle composition, be prepared to use her royal cloak ability. Notice here, I raged the queen immediately prior to going into that compartment where I know she's going to be engaged by the enemy clan castle. She's also being hit by an expo at the same time, which is considered a point defense. The splash damage here by the mortars aren't necessarily doing that much damage to her, and she's able to survive taking on the hound and archers as well as that expo at the same time. As we move right into Morph's attack from the Trojan War, uh, you'll notice that he comes in from the south and takes on an Expo directly. There's two 
splash damage defenses on each side of the uh, expo, so it's, she's only technically taken on one point at that time with four healers. She takes on the our, uh, wizard tower, no issues, and then she moves into the next one with no problems at all. As what as she continues to move in her pathing, Morph uses uh, the rest of his troops, so it doesn't really matter at this point for her to maintain healers, because at this point he has to worry about the healers breaking off and moving on with the giants and golems in this scenario. As we go into Cipertron's attack, he uses a giant as a meat shield for the queen, because if you look, there are three to four point defenses that could be in her range, so he uses a giant with healers to use the meat shield in order to uh, give her the opportunity to take on these archer towers and cannons without being directly hit immediately. As he gets closer to the enemy queen, he rages up his uh, queen to start getting her health back up prior to that engagement. However, she steps out of the rage so she's no longer enraged and he has to use her royal cloak ability to take out that enemy queen. However, if she had stayed in the rage spell, or if he had placed it a little bit further ahead of her, she would have, should have been able to take out the enemy queen without any issues. So when planning your queen walk for your war attacks, you need to determine whether you actually want her to link up with the rest of your second phase, or go off on her own and be able to survive it. It depends on the base layout, I cannot determine this for you. These are things that you'll have to count tiles and decide on your own. And if you have any more questions, please put them down in the comments below. Uh, hit like. And as always, you stay classy, Planet Earth. Are you listening?